Hello, this is Pastor David Charlton. This is my devotion for Wednesday, June the 24th. Thanks for being with me today. One of the hymns we're going to sing this coming Sunday is Stand Up, Stand Up for Jesus. Stand up, stand up for Jesus as soldiers of the cross. Lift high his royal banner, it must not suffer loss. From victory unto victory, his army he shall lead, till every foe is vanquished, and Christ is Lord indeed. That's hymn number 389 in the Lutheran Book of Worship. In today's lesson, uh, the, the gospel for this coming Sunday, Jesus, in a sense, says, if you stand up for me, I will stand up for you. Matthew chapter 10, verses 40 through 42. Whoever welcomes you, welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me, welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet in the name of a prophet, will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever welcomes a righteous person in the name of a righteous person, will receive the, right, the reward of the righteous. And whoever gives a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of a disciple, truly I tell you, none of these will lose their reward. Throughout chapter 10 of Matthew, Jesus is instructing his 12 apostles about what they are to do as he sends them out to proclaim the gospel and to cure the sick and cast out demons. And he warns them that they will be persecuted, but he tells them not to fear, because God knows everything that happens. He even warns them that proclaiming him will cause division in their own lives and in their own families. And so he's warning them of all kinds of persecution, but right at the end he tells them this, don't be deceived, God knows how people treat you. God knows whether they welcome you. God knows whether they show hospitality to you. God even knows if they simply give you a cup of cold water. And how they treat you will be the basis on which they will ju be judged. And this is the basis. I will treat whatever they do to you, it will be considered as if they had done it to me. Um, as if they had done it to the Son of God. And so he says, whoever welcomes you, welcomes me. And so when that person um, is judged, that it will be said, you welcomed Christ or you rejected him. You heard his prophets or you rejected his prophets and therefore you heard him or you rejected him. Um, you welcomed a righteous person who like Christ is righteous. And so you welcomed Christ, or you did not. And who are the little ones? The little ones are the disciples of Jesus who don't have a lot of faith, who haven't grown yet in the faith, whose faith is um, just like a dimly burning wick. Uh, Jesus has compassion on these little ones. Uh, and whatever someone does to even the least of his disciples, it will be as if they did it to Jesus. So Jesus says, those who welcome you will be rewarded, and those who reject you will be punished. Don't think that God doesn't see what happens, because he does. Um, there's a, a discipleship movement in America called 3DM, uh, started by a man named Mike Breen. And one of the things he talks about there are people of peace. Uh, God sends people of peace into our lives who welcome the message that we bring. And it's those people that we are to look for. Jesus is speaking about those kind of people here, the people of peace, the people who are open to hearing the message. And they will be rewarded for hearing the message. And um, so it matters to God what happens to those who follow him. Who are the prophets? The prophets might be the people who are called to actually go out and proclaim the message. Who are the righteous? 
the ones who are following Jesus' teaching and living in his way. And again, I say the little ones are the ones who were brand new in the faith, weak in the faith. God watches over and cares for them. So Jesus says, don't worry about what happens to you. Nothing that happens to you is unknown to God. And God will judge everything um, as if it had been done to his son. That's how much God cares for you. That's how, much, how significant what you are doing is as a Christian for you and for the people that you meet. So don't be afraid. Don't worry. God knows. And those who welcome you will be rewarded and will be recognized by God. Even those who welcome the least and the smallest. Let us pray. God, you, you send us out as sheep in the midst of wolves. You send us out to proclaim a message of peace in a world where there is very little peace. We bring your message of peace to people, but instead it causes conflict and division and persecution. Would you remind us that you will stand up for those who stand up for you? And that we don't need to worry about how we are treated, because you know. There's a judgment for those who welcome your word. And there's a judgment for those who reject it. And the judgment will be as if they welcomed or rejected Christ himself. So help us, Lord, not to be afraid, but to be bold. Because we know that you go with us and you watch over everything that happens. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, and I'll see you again tomorrow.